to know every night, Fox 25 News at 10. Yesterday, John Burkett delivered a masterful performance when the Red Sox needed it most. He threw a complete game four hit shutout while facing only two batters more than the minimum. Terrific performance by John Burkett. Sports welcomes you to Fenway Park where the Red Sox try to make it two in a row over the Orioles as they go head to head in the final game of this three game series. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Sean McDonough. Delighted to have you with us for the rubber game of this three game series and the final game of the seven game homestand. The Red Sox need a win today to ensure a winning homestand. They're three and three in the seven games so far against Tampa Bay and Baltimore. Just a 500 record on the homestand, but not because Trot Nixon hasn't been terrific as usual in the month of July. He is riding the longest hitting streak of his career, a 12 game hitting streak. And during this homestand, he's hit 571. 12 of his last 19 hits have been for extra bases, and he really is Mr. July with the 341 career batting average in this month. I'm joined as always by Jerry Remy. And Jerry, you've been talking a lot lately about Trot and his approach at the plate to hit it to all fields. He really has come a long way, Sean. Just about a month ago, he was down around 240, now pushing about 280 in the batting average. And it comes as no surprise from Trot Nixon because he continues to work hard. But you're right, he is now using the whole field. Here's a good example, pulling the ball. One is center field, gets the ball down and away, and moves it to the opposite field. Most of the time when hitters are swinging the bat well, they are using the whole field. So this comeback by Trot Nixon is no surprise, and I can expect it to continue the rest of the season. He's hot, so is Jason Veritek. He'll put a 13-game hitting streak on the line today. The starting pitching matchup is brought to you by Lexus Pursuing Perfection. It'll be Derek Lowe on the mound for the Red Sox with a record of 13 and 5. He pitched seven shutout innings but was not involved in the decision Tuesday night against Tampa Bay. He'll be opposed by the veteran Scott Erickson with a record of 4 and 9. First pitch from Fenway Park right after this. Boston Red Sox baseball is brought to you in part by your New England Ford dealers for the best selection of cars trucks and SUVs on the planet. Visit your local New England Ford dealers or log on to New England Buy Bud Light for the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. By your New England Toyota dealer. What makes Toyota the best value? Ask someone who drives one. By HP Hood sponsor of the Hood Home Team Advantage Charity Program. By your friendly New England Dodge dealers, grab life by the horns, go Dodge. And by Southwest Airlines, bringing people together with low fares. Delicious Dunkin' Donuts Culotta. It's great on the go. A portion of Kulata sales will be donated to the Nomar 5 Fund, a charity supporting local kids' organizations. Fade, fade. What are you guys doing? Ah, uh, fleet home. Like, yeah, I think I got that. You pay bills with it? Nah, too busy. You transfer funds, Mike? Uh, what about check balances. I don't do that either. I, I pay think bills you're scared, Mike. I'm that's, not scared. that's what I'm nah, gathering right you now. Think whatever you guys, talking. Think whatever you got. Listen, it's not that hard. All you have to do. Here mm -hmm. and then here, and you're done, Mike. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. it. The bill's paid. That's easy. Pretty simple, huh? Okay, I was nervous. I wasn't scared. I was just nervous. Do we high five now? ES 300. At your Boston area Lexus dealer. Mostly cloudy afternoon here at Fenway Park. Pleasant temperature, a bit more humid than it's been in recent days as the Red Sox wrap up this homestand with the rubber game of a three game series with the Baltimore Orioles. Orioles won 9 2 here on Friday night. The Red Sox bounce back. 
and won yesterday four to nothing behind a beauty from John Birkin. Baltimore starting lineup today brought to you by Southwest Airlines. The Orioles are four games below 500 at 48 and 52. They have Melvin Mora at shortstop. Howie Clark the DH today. Gary Matthews the right fielder. The cleanup hitter third baseman Tony Batista with team leading power numbers 21 homers 60 runs batted in. Then Jay Gibbons at first base Marty Cordova with the left fielder. Chris Singleton in center field will hit seventh. Brooke Fordyce doing the catching today and Jerry Harrison the second baseman will bat ninth against Derek Lowe. Derek Lowe with the 2.33 ERA still best in the American League the 195 batting average against best in the American League. Pedro Martinez trails him in both of those categories. Last time out against Tampa Bay seven scoreless innings but the Red Sox let that one get away. They lost it five to four and one and oh this year against Baltimore. Remember he took a no hitter into the eighth inning very early in the season at Baltimore a three nothing Red Sox win. That was in the second game of the season a sign of things to come for Derek Lowe the Red Sox defense Manny Ramirez Johnny Damon and Trot Nixon the outfield from left to right Shea Hillenbrand Nomar Garcia Parra Ray Sanchez and Brian Daubach the infield from third to first with Jason Veritek behind the plate Randy Marsh the crew chief is the home plate umpire he's a well regarded ball strike umpire Larry Vanover at first Angel Hernandez at second and Laz Diaz will have the plays at third. Hope you're having a great weekend. We're delighted to have you with us. And the first pitch from low drifts up and in on Melvin Mora, who had to spin out of the way. 73 degrees at game time. First pitch at 106. Mora, 253 hitter, 11 homers, 42 runs batted in, and 13 stolen bases. Working on career highs in homers and steals. And even in the count right now at one and one. On the ground right at Ray Sanchez one out. And if both pitchers are on today you'll see a lot of that low and Erickson sinker ball pitchers who generally keep the infielders very busy. Yeah Sean I hope all the infielders got plenty of rest last night because they should be busy for both sides today. Scott Erickson has completed his warm up throws he's ready to go to work. I would have guessed it's a little warmer than the 73 degrees feels that way now it's definitely much more humid. And a strike at the knees to Howie Clark. He's the DH today was in left field yesterday. He and Marty Cordova have flip flop rolls. 341 for Clark. He's appearing in his 11th game since coming up from triple A has 14 hits and 41 at bats. No homers and four runs batted in. Low generally a very quick worker. With a count of two and one on Clark. Just outside. And Derek really should have 14 wins right now instead of 13. That was a heartbreaker the other night. Particularly for the team, a very important game. And when you blow a 4 0 lead in the ninth to Tampa Bay, that's upsetting enough. Of course, Lowe should have had another win. Clark out on the chopper to Sanchez. And when you get down toward the end of the year, and they get around to voting on the individual awards, a lot of the writers who vote on Cy Young Award and that sort of thing look at the numbers. So sometimes every win, every strikeout, Gary Matthews Helps. Low today has a chance to join Barry Zito as a only 14 game winners in the American League. And there are a number of candidates certainly for the Cy Young Award in the American League. And you'd have to say Derek is right at the top of that list. He missed with a breaking ball to Gary Matthews. In 82 games with the Orioles, a 277 hitter, five homers, 25 runs batted in. Two and all the count. We're in the first, just underway. Two outs, the base is empty, no score. 
Up the middle, Sanchez again. Jump throw to first, not in time. Good effort by Ray Sanchez, but Matthews has decent speed and beat it for the first hit of the ball game. Working from the left side of the play to ground ball up the middle. Terrific play by Sanchez as he'll make the backhand, the jump throw to first base, but just too much speed from Matthews. He'll beat it by about a step. But the good sign early here three ground balls from Derek Lowe. Matthews at first. The Orioles like to run. They have 81 stolen bases, and Matthews has 13 of them. Tony Batista takes the ball low. We mentioned he's their team leader in homers with 21. Runs batted in with 60. Hitting 266 for the year. In the dirt, knocked down by Veritek. Lowe has been working behind in the count here in the first inning, but it hasn't really hurt him so far. Type of game today, Sean, where both managers, I would think, would have guys moving once they get on base, either trying to steal, play some hit and run. When you have ground ball pitches, the result's generally a lot of double plays. So you try to create some movement on the bases, open up some holes. Lowe's thrown 13 pitches. Eight of them have been balls. So he's had a little control trouble. Sometimes that's a byproduct of the fact that he just has such good movement on his pitches. Yeah, when he gets to those situations, what Veritek does is just set up right behind home plate, aim for the middle of the plate, and let the normal action of the baseball take over. He's gone to 3 0 now on Batista. He had the green light. He lifts a fly ball to left. Ramirez retreating. They're looking up. The ball is off the scoreboard. Bare handed by Manny. He goes to Garcia Parra. Relay to the plate. Not in time. And out, says the home plate umpire. Randy Marsh ruling that Matthews missed the plate. There's going to be an argument from all sides here. Both base coaches, Rick Dempsey and Tom Treblehorn, down the line. Generally, if the runner misses the plate, the umpire doesn't signal safe. He doesn't make any signal. He just waits until the catcher runs over and applies the tag and then says out. Boy, from our uh, angle right above, you're looking at it. Tough to tell if he got the back part, but he gives the safe sign, which usually means he thought the runner stepped on the plate. Then he changed his mind. No score after a half inning. You're watching the Fox 25 Red Sox television network. We have more now on a breaking story we are following tonight. Important story. Three more women have been attacked in Brighton. It was a wild ride on Wall Street. Big event. An 11-day trip for Pope John Paul II. An emotional tribute for Ted Williams. Serious weather. Power was knocked out to almost every home in town. Trees and power lines down all over the place. Powerful investigation. Why you reported your car stolen when it wasn't? Did the Archdiocese move you from Paris to Paris? Every night, news you need to know. Every night, Fox 25 News at 10. Five horsepower Nissan Maxima. Bizarre play at home plate. Matthews with no slide in the home plate. Now Veritek is going to block. He's going to stand in front of home plate, and apparently the runner missing home. Now watch the umpire give the safe call. That means he's safe. All of a sudden, Veritek goes back to chase and tags him. Now he makes the out call. The umpires don't normally do that. It's usually no sign when they see that the guy missed the plate. Yeah, if you call him safe, it means he's safe. Right. He's made it to home safely. Generally, if there's a miss of the plate, they give no signal. Because, of course, that runner can come back and tag the plate again. And that eliminates the catcher from chasing the guy down and having a base runner advance by giving that safe call. The play's over, but Veritek was convinced he didn't touch home plate, so he went to tag him anyway. And then Marsh changed his mind and called him out. That's why I was surprised Jason even chased after him once the safe sign was given. Usually that means play over, but 
I think in the final analysis, Randy Marsh got it right because it did look Leading from the replay angles that Matthews Stark. did yep. barely miss the plate and did not step on it. So it's a scoreless game, a double for Batista on that play. And the play at the plate, 7-6-2 on Matthews. So Johnny Damon will lead off against Scott Erickson. Johnny at 293, seven homers and 45 runs batted in. Damon, Nixon, and Garcia Parra in the first. We'll give you the rest of the Red Sox lineup in just a moment. First pitch from the veteran Erickson, a strike just above the knees. There are the numbers for Erickson, four and nine. On July 16th, he had a seven game losing streak stopped by a win with over Seattle. A no decision is last outing. Up the middle, off the glove of Mora, and out in the shallow center. A hit for Damon. We presume that's a hit. That would be a very tough error for it to be scored that way, and it is a hit. Let's give you the rest of the Red Sox lineup brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Damon, Trot Nixon, Nomar Garcia Parra. Then Manny Ramirez in left field, Jason Veritek riding the longest hitting streak of his career, and Shea Hill and Brand batting sixth. Brian Daubach at first base. Carlos Bayerga back in the starting lineup as the DH and Ray Sanchez will hit ninth. Here's Nixon. About as hot as a hitter can be right now. Trot takes strike one. A 12 game hitting streak for Nixon, raising his average up to 279. 15 homers, 55 runs batted in. He's 12 for 21 on this homestand with four doubles, a triple, two homers, and six runs batted in. In six games. Overall, Trotz knocked in 16 runs in his last 11 games. The ball outside. Damon was thrown out trying to steal yesterday. Just the fifth time this season Johnny's been caught. He has stolen 24. Good for fourth place in the American League in stolen bases. They go here on the 2 1 count. Nope. And a ball wide, 3 and 1 on Nixon. It's the third time this season that Erickson has faced the Red Sox. He is 1 and 1 against them. He is 13 and 12 in his career in starts against Boston Red Sox teams. Damon is running and there's a base hit past the first baseman Gibbons down the right field line. Damon being waved around by Mike Cubbage and he will score on a double by Trot Nixon. The first baseman Jay Gibbons holding on the runner at first and of course so once he pops off that bag and the balls hit as hard as Nixon did down the line he has very little chance to get back and make a play especially being the left handed first baseman. Three one count fastball right out over the plate Nixon right down the line now watch Gibbons has to cross over almost impossible to make that play and Nixon drives in his 56 RBI of the year Red Sox take the one nothing lead. He continues to sizzle. 13 game hitting streak longest of his career. 17 runs batted in in the last 12 games. And he's now 13 for 22 on the homestand. Back to back hits to start the game for the Red Sox. Here's Garcia Parra. Over the head of Gibbons in the right field. Nixon being waved around and he will score on a base hit by Garcia Parra. The Red Sox out quickly today. It's two to nothing. Oh, what a beautiful job there by Nomar. A man on second base with nobody out early in the ball game. He's thinking even as the number three hitter in the lineup to move the ball the other way. Watch his hands come inside that inside fastball and still puts a rocket to the opposite field. He gets the bonus gets the base hit and drives in a run. There's a guy trying to give himself up to move a man across the third and gets the base hit on a very tough pitch. Romar's 85th RBI. He's three behind the league leader now, Alex Rodriguez. Romar was briefly in the league lead and runs batted in, but A Rod had a big night last night. 
including the walk off grand slam on his birthday. Nomar had the three homers earlier in the week in a grand slam on his birthday. A Rod had a grand slam on his birthday last night. Ramirez to right. Matthews to catch. Sun trying to peek through the clouds here today. It's about as bright as it's been all day at the ballpark right now. It's about as bright as it's been the last two days. Mm -hmm. Number 33, the catcher, Jason Veritas. See if red out there in the bleachers today. There's a large group from the Coca-Cola company all dressed in red T-shirts. The reason why you see those big patches of red. Here's Jason Veritek at 2 89 seven homers 37 runs batted in just about mirroring the numbers of Nixon lately Garcia Parra on the run he'll get the second as Veritek is out thrown out by the second baseman Hairston that's what you've got to do when you have two sinker ball pitches you're going to get a lot of ground balls you've got to get those guys moving stay away from double plays. Breaking ball here to Veritek. It's not a hit and run. I'm sure it was just a straight out steal. But the key is by making it out, you still get a man in the scoring position. Jay Hillman Brand hitting 297. He had an RBI double yesterday on his 27th birthday. 13 homers, 57 runs batted in for Hillenbrand. It was a rare hit on the homestand for Shays. Three for 23. A 130 batting average. But he has knocked in four runs in the six games. He's the sixth batter of the first inning for the Red Sox. They lead two to nothing. Erickson just missed one and one. Prior to the ball game today, it was family day here at uh, Fenway, where the Red Sox players and wives had their kids on the field, all the employees for the Red Sox. Quite a scene out there before the game. Lots of youngsters, maybe record attendance for one of those family <laughs> day games. A cute little kids out there today. A one hopper to second. Hairston. Two Gibbons for the out. The Red Sox open the inning with three straight hits. Damon Nixon and Garcia Parra. Two runs scored. It's two to nothing Boston after one. Eyes of a puppy dog. Lips made for sin. You're not dreaming. I'm for real. We got a call. <laughs> Now you can. Fly Southwest Airlines for just $39 to $99 each way when you purchase by August 1st. You are now free to move about the country. Water and skiing. Racing and winning. Great matches, but here's the best. The Dodge Down Payment Matchup. Put $1,000 down and we'll match it. Plus get up to $2,500 cash allowance for a total down payment of $4,500. Or get 0% APR on select vehicles. And Dodge's 770 Powertrain Limited Warranty. Making it easier to grab life in a Durango, Dakota, Stratus Coupe, or Sedan. Great products, great protection, great values. Because it's about great matches, like the open road and a Dodge. Hit it! The first major advance for the fastest treatment of athlete's foot is Lamisil AT. Lamisil AT is the first non-prescription medicine proven to kill the fungus with just one week's use. Not even a prescription can beat that. Lotrim and AF and Tanakin still expect you to treat for four weeks. Who's going to do that? When your feet itch and burn, using Lamisil AT one week keeps you athlete's foot free three months. Lamisil AT. There's no better way to cure athlete's foot. Are you ready for a wild weather adventure? Think you've seen it all? Spend the summer exploring weather with Fox 25 meteorologist Kevin Lamanowitz and Cindy Fitzgibbon. Visit a wind farm, launch a weather balloon, learn to read the sky, how weather works, weeknights on Fox 25 News at 10. News. News. 
Professor Don Levy be very proud of us. Syracuse University. One of those things that you learn in school that you actually remember. News. News. The word should be pronounced news. Jay Gibbons took strike one from Derek Lowe. And a ball just outside. Gibbons, a power hitter with 19 homers, 47 runs batted in, a 267 average. To right and caught by Nixon. One out. The Red Sox with their win yesterday gained a game in the American League East. The Yankees got some had some difficulties. Red Sox got some help from Tampa Ready Bay team. as Number the 40, Devil Rays beat the, the Yankees Taylor. down in St. Pete yesterday. Marty, so the Red Sox are back within four. And in the wild card race, the Angels have a one game lead over the Red Sox. Those two teams to meet for the first time this season tomorrow night in Anaheim. Sanchez throws out Marty Cordova. Nice play by Ray on the one hopper that he fielded on the outfield grass. Looks like Ray may be the guy today out there uh, defensively. That's already the third ball hit in his direction and he's been clean with all three. The center fielder. Actually he's fielded four because he came up with the infield hit that Matthews had behind second base. Excellent point John. Just trying to amplify the fine point that you were making <laughs> about how busy he's been. Chris Singleton takes the ball low. 249 for Singleton. Four homers, 34 runs batted in. When we talk about the odd travel for the Red Sox this season, particularly of late, the trip out to Anaheim. In Texas on this trip they can home for a week then go back to Seattle. The Orioles are here. They leave here and go to Tampa to play a series. Then they go from Tampa to Toronto. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Two balls and a strike. This Anaheim to Texas thing we've been doing this the last three years. It's absolutely brutal and you wonder why that continues on the schedule. No team should have to arrive at 5:30, 6 o'clock in the morning and play that night. Two and two. And that's what the Red Sox will be doing after a night game in Anaheim Wednesday. They'll board a charter, fly to Texas, lose two hours, and arrive probably at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning. Dobbach retires Singleton an easy nine pitch one two three inning for Derek Lowe after an inning and a half two nothing Red Sox. You're watching the Fox 25 Red Sox television network.